Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you ducking using sidechain compression in Reaper, utilizing the Recomp compressor that comes with Reaper. Now, originally, I was going to make this video using a gate, using the Regate plugin. Right here, because it has a feature to invert the gate for ducking. But I played around with this one versus the compressor and preferred the compressor. So we're going to create ducking using a compressor instead. Now, the idea of ducking is to take one signal and cancel out the other or reduce the level of the other track. A common use for this would be in radio where the voiceover comes in and the music gets lower in level or gets ducked or in commercials or TV, but it could also be used for music. You can have a lead guitar duck out the rhythm guitars whenever it plays. So they're lower in level during the solo and then when the solo stops playing, the guitars get louder again. You could do the same thing with a lead vocal. You could have the whole track duck just a little bit whenever the singer's singing. And then when the singer stops, the music gets louder. But for music, you want to do it a bit more subtly. But what I'm going to show you is a lot more aggressive. We have some music right here as a music bed. And up here, we have a voiceover. Let's hear what it sounds like now. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present In a World Gone Mad. As you can hear, the music is drowning out the voiceover. Now we could lower the music. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present In a World Gone Mad. But now in the spaces, the music sounds too low. So by using ducking, the music will automatically get lower when the voice comes in and louder when the voice isn't speaking. Let's put this back up. So we'll put a compressor on the music track. We'll choose the Recomp compressor right here. And we're going to change the detector input to come from the voiceover. So we'll switch it right here to auxiliary input left and right. And now we want to send the vocal to this track to trigger it. So we'll drag from here, from our routing, to this track to create a send. And we'll go to the send, and we'll choose channel 1 and 2 from the voiceover to send to 3 and 4. Because if we send it to 1 and 2, the voiceover is going to come back on this track. And we're going to hear it on both tracks. We don't want that. We just want it to trigger the compressor. So we're going to switch it right here to 3 and 4. But if you notice, there is no 3 and 4. Because this track only has two channels. We could change it to 4 or we could add it automatically right down here. New channels on receiving track. And it'll create new channels when we do this, which we can see. Now it's four channels. Two channels for audio and two channels for triggering our compressor. Now we should also do is change our send to be pre-fader. This way the signal is constant from the voiceover track. So if we ride that level, it's not going to affect how we hit the compressor. And we'll keep the level full up right here. Now we can go back to our compressor and watch the level here. Now, live from our studios, in it's being triggered by the voice. Although what's going to be compressed is the music. So now let's make some adjustments. Let's change our ratio to 4 to 1. And let's bring the threshold down. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present In a World Gone Mad. From Walt Disney Pictures, 
Rated G. We're getting the desired effect, but it's a bit too quick. The compressor is reacting very aggressively, so it sounds unnatural. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present. So, what we want to do is adjust the pre compressor, the attack, and release. Now, the pre compressor is very useful because it's going to bring the signal down even before the vocal comes in. So, if we make it higher, like 250. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present. Even before the voice comes in, it compresses it or ducks it. Let's split the difference though. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present. That's better. Now let's bring up the attack so it's a bit smoother on the entrance. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present. In a world. Now we adjust the release so the compression or the ducking stays a bit longer. It doesn't react or bounce back as quickly. And we can see it right here. Watch how quickly this bounces back. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas. We want to slow it down to make it sound more natural. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas. We present In a World Gone Mad from Walt Disney Pictures. Rated G. Starts Friday only in theaters. Now on Blu ray and DVD. That sounds a lot better. It's much more natural as the vocal comes in and out. And the music gets louder in the spaces and lower when he's talking. Now to adjust the level, we would adjust the threshold. The more we compress, the lower the music's going to be while he's talking. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present In a World Gone Mad from Walt Disney Pictures. Rated G. Starts Friday only in theaters. That feels good right there. Now let's hear it back from the beginning. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present In a World Gone Mad from Walt Disney Pictures. Rated G. Starts Friday only in theaters. Now on Blu-ray and DVD. And after he's done talking, it gets much louder as the ducking or compression has stopped. So anyway, that's ducking using sidechain compression in Reaper. And like I said, you can make it more subtle for music or more aggressive for commercials or TV. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.